Hey guys, it's me, Halise, back with episode three of Ask a Black Girl, where you ask me, a black girl, questions about being black and of the like. To touch on my credentials again on why I am qualified to answer these questions, I was born and raised black, and uh, once again, I've been black for about 23 years now, and um, I can see myself being black for the foreseeable future. So, without further ado, Let's get into these questions. Question number one. Why are you guys so loud and angry? I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Why are we loud and angry? Because we are still being oppressed. Slavery ended 140 years ago, something crazy like that. We are still being oppressed. We are still feeling the impacts on the society as a whole of that institution and this is it's about to be 2014 people 2014 and there are still things in this society that make me loud and angry this country that you love is still the reason behind your oppression i think that could make a group of people loud and angry what do you really think about white guys they are evil and cannot be trusted. Do not trust the white man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I think I think of white guys the same way I think about all guys. Some guys are nice. Some guys are mean. Some guys are fat. Some guys are skinny. Some guys are very dumb. Some guys are very smart. You know what I mean? It's a guy. Does your blackness inherently correlate to your coolness? I think so. I, uh, I don't think it inherently correlates to my coolness, but I do think it helps. You generally tend to see black people that are cool rather than like white people that are cool. You tend, the ratio of coolness from African Americans to Caucasian Americans, it leans more to our side, which I think is a pretty decent compromise, you know? Like, y'all get entitlement and privilege and then we get, like, coolness. Is all black girl hair curly? Yes. Well, I mean, your question, your question is just a hair vague. So, there are black women with straight hair, but it is straight because it has been genetically altered. It has been chemically processed to be straight. But I'm sure there are some black women somewhere that just have some recessive genes going on that just make their hair straight. I mean, I, if I saw an African-American woman or a woman who claimed to be of African-American descent and her hair was straight and she didn't chemically alter it in any way, I wouldn't be like overly surprised by that. Because most African-Americans are mixed with a variety of different uh, ethnicities. We, you know, African, the African descent part is usually just the part that shows the most because it's the darkest. Most African Americans, most people that identify as African American have a variety of ethnicities in them because of, everything comes back to slavery, because of slavery and, um, you know, the rampant rape of African American women during the slave trade and all that kind of stuff. Like I have Caucasian in my bloodline. I also have Native American in my bloodline. I think I have some kind of Asian in my bloodline. It's like, it's, you know, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Black is just the thing that shows the most. So for an African American woman to have straight hair wouldn't be absurd. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be interested to see that. I'd be interested to see what that just looks like, you know? Cause you can kind of tell who has a perm and who doesn't, you know? So I could be kind of curious to see like an African American woman who has straight hair. All right, guys, so that is the end of all of the questions. Um, send me more questions, guys. Don't be scared. And um, happy holidays. I know Christmas was just around the corner and New Year's is coming up. Whatever you believe in, happy holidays to you. And have a safe and responsible New Year as well. I'll see y'all when I see you.